the tantric practices affect our life in a very unique way. Take the practice of asana. Asana gives you sense of it gives it its effect is felt immediately then and there, but however at physical level. When you continue practicing for a long period of time, one month, six months, one year, five years, then you notice that it brought changes at a much deeper level of your own body and nervous system. Whereas the tantric practices affect us differently. They affect in the realm of our mind, our samskaras, our karmasas, the subtle, where the subtle impressions of our past are stored. The process of transformation brought about with the practice of tantric disciplines such as Sri Sukta here in this case, it begins from deep, deep inside. And you begin to, you continue noticing the effect as time passes. Number one. Number two, its effect is not confined only to you, only to yourself. Because in the very fundamental principle of tantric practices, which support the practice of uh, Sri Sutta, is this uh, interconnected link among ourselves and much bigger world. So our life is not here affected in isolation to our family, our loved ones, or in isolation to the, uh, the bigger world of which we are part, but rather our life is affected, you know, in connection to, in relation to, in association with everything that constitutes or that which relates to our personal life. So it is a transformation which simultaneously affects our personal as well as interpersonal relationship. It affects simultaneously the relationship between our uh, mind and heart, between our mind and soul, between our individual self and the big self, absolute divinity. So this interconnected nature of Tantra, which is the backbone of this practice, you know, affects us in a totally different way than we are familiar with when we do the practice of, let's say, asana and pranayamas.